Hey everyone, I think a few people are still joining. That does, is that Isabel? Hey, going Zara? Hi, can everyone hear me? No, I'm muted. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm, no, I'm not muted. Am I? I'm not muted. Yeah, you can hear me. Sounded like a larrikin. Kobe, Daniel, Ethan, Lockie, Mr. Lockie Barker. Have a look at him, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we are so lucky. Have a look at the Hannigan crew. How are the three of you going to fit on the one screen there? Have a look at yous. Hey, boys, how you going? Oscar, brothers, how we going? Shark boy, what's that name? You got to change that name up, surely. Sophie, how you going? All right, so we're going to make a start here pretty soon. Uh, if you'd like to have your camera on so that I can give you a bit of feedback or even Mr. Lockie Barker might even jump on at some stage unless he's just here to make fun of me. Um, and give you some feedback. If you don't, you don't have to have your camera on. That's fine. If you just want to follow along, uh, that's all good. What you'll need for today's session, you obviously need a drink bottle. We're going to get moving. So this is the intermediate session. I know there's a few people that um, I think maybe little brothers and sisters did the beginner session. That was a little bit more about, because we didn't know exactly who was going to be in that one. We, we knew we had some mini hoops, kids just starting out. So it was a little bit more about learning the technique of dribbling and things like that. We are, we are, definitely aware of this session we've got kids that have are already playing domestic um and and possibly even playing rep basketball at this stage and looking to progress to rep so we're going to challenge you a little bit more not just with fitness and movement but also with skills and stuff so you will obviously need a basketball so you'll need a basketball you'll need a drink bottle uh you will need some sort of a a marker or training cone i've got some uh Yellow ones here. You'll see these. These will come out a bit later on. These yellow ones here. Okay, I'm lucky to have these. My dog's chewed that one, which is good. Um, I've got those. You do not need a hoop. You do not need a hoop. But if you have a hoop, bonus. I'm not going to stop you from using it. Okay, if you've got a hoop, a lot of these drills can uh, be done. You can, you know, ball handling, dribble movements, footwork stuff. You can go into a layup or a shot if you'd like to, and you've got that capability available. Just going to quickly here, I'm just going to spotlight my camera now so that I sort of stay on the screen and you should be able to hear me most of the time. Um, I'm going to make, Lockie, I'm going to make you a co-host as well, mate, so you can, uh, you can unmute yourself and you can have a bit of a chat when you like. All right, perfect. There he is. Okay, I've already spotlighted myself, so you can't see Lockie. I'm going to spotlight you, Lockie, and you can quickly introduce yourself, and then I'm going to. I better introduce myself as well. All right, here we go. Add spotlight. Oh, we both spotlighted. Oh, have a look at us. Oh, look at you go, Jared. <laughs> Technology, yeah. Lockie. Well done, everyone. This is Lockie Barker. If if you don't know who Lockie is, uh, Lockie is our uh, is a, is a star guard for our NBL one men's team um i think currently where are you lucky you're third in the league for scoring at the moment third and fifth i think there's two lucky yeah. somewhere on the stats. yeah something like that 
Yeah, so really high-level guy here. Uh, probably going to be in the NBL next year with someone if they figure their, they sort their stuff out. Hopefully soon. Had a game oh, not that long ago uh, after the last lockdown against Ringwood. What'd you go, lucky 10 of 11 from the three-point line or 10 of 12 or something? Yeah, something like that, I think. Not 10 or 12. Yeah. Not too, not too shabby. I don't know. Don't know what you did on those two misses. I wouldn't have missed those two, but um, all right. I'll take you off the spotlight, Lockie, and uh, just back to the big dog now. All right, let's do a warm-up, guys. So my name's Jared. For those of you that don't know me, um, I'm the basketball development manager at Frankston, and uh, I, I, I wave a towel and high-five the NBL1 players. I'm a, I'm a role player on our NBL1 men's team and lucky to be there and love my role. Um, and it's good to be here today with you guys. I know it's really... It's, it's starting to get a bit grinding. I know the lockdowns, in and out of lockdown, not being able to be at school can be really tough. So, um, you know, it's, it's important that we get on today. And, you know, I know you guys probably know how to do some ball handling and stuff on your own. You're probably going to, you know, shoot in your own backyard or going to a local school and shoot. But it's good to get on, have a bit of face-to-face -face interaction with myself and Lockie here um, and with each other. We'll get a chance to, to chat and we'll do a bit of trivia halfway through. But for now, let's just get warmed up main thing is we're going to stay ready so that when the stadium opens, um, we're just straight back into it, right? So warming up, you won't need your basketballs. Just step back away from the camera here. I'm just going to change my view on my laptop so I can see all you guys nice and easy. So we're just going to jog on the spot, pumping our arms, balls of our feet. I know there's probably geographically a bit of difference um, from where all our participants are right now. Just jogging on the spot right now, guys, everyone step away from the cameras. We're going to get moving and start our warm-up. I've got some clouds hanging around. Hopefully it doesn't rain on me here. Otherwise, I might have to shift to the shed. But we should be okay for the, for the next 45 minutes. So jogging on the spot, we're going to quickly move. We're going to go about 20 seconds, 30 seconds each exercise for the warm-up. Now we're going to go to a high knees. So we're really pumping our knees up now, driving our hands and knees. So on the side, this is what it looks like. Good work Try and get those knees. Knees up Trying nice and high. Up. Nice and high there. Oh boy, get that heart rate up. Got to stay fit as well. So seasons, once we get back on court, we just get straight back into it. All right. Now we'll go, we'll swap it to butt kicks. So now we're trying to stretch out the front of our legs here. Get those heels up. About 20 seconds, 30 seconds each exercise. Good work. Mate, Good job. Make sure your name on the screen is uh, is pretty accurate. If that's you can have your nickname if you like. Got the Hannigan boys. I'll probably just refer to you as the Hannigan boys all day. Hannigan boys, all Lots three of them. them. Well, look at them. All of them. What have we got? Anton, Cormac, and Ocean. Yeah. The boys. Absolutely loving it. Have a look at them. All righty. And one of my favorites, you guys probably know star jumps. Oh, I like this one, seal jacks. Okay, it's called a seal jack because I think because seals clap their, their fins or whatever you call them. But basically the same movement as a star jump. So when your arms go out, your legs go out, but instead of going overhead, we're gonna go in front. Okay, so what it looks like is arms out, feet in, arms come across, okay? So out, across, out, across. And you can just rotate, right arm over, left arm over. Same thing. If you don't like that, a normal star jump's fine. Okay, same thing. But I like to go across. Okay, just warms up my arms a little bit more. Warms up my upper back and shoulders. You can even mix it up. Go one up, one across. Oh, that's really testing me out. Okay, across your body, go for about 30 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Just because I stop doesn't mean you stop. Keep going. I'm just unfit. Good job. Excellent. Oh, how are we going? Oh, the, the Hannigan's good. arms up. Good. Rosie doing well. Ethan going well. Daniel, good, good, good. Marley. I don't see your feet moving, Marley. You're just waving your hands. Come on. <laughs> Move those feet. There we good, go. Good, Asha. Good, Kobe. Kobe, every time Kobe jumps on, I'm, I'm jealous of his hoop setup. It's an unreal good setup, setup, isn't it? Really good setup. All right, hold it there. We're just going to do a couple of really quick stretches. Really quick stretches. So I've got my hoop here. So I'm going to use my hoop, but you guys might be, you might have a couple of you might be indoors. 
A um, couple are in sheds and things like that. Use a wall or something if you can. We're just going to do some leg swings. So I'm going to hold on to my hoop. This is regulation size as well, just in case anyone was wondering. Like I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm just regularly head at the rim. Uh, that's the sort of athlete I am. So leg swings forward and back, forward and back. Nice stretch for our hammies and our hips. We're going to go right leg five back and swap it over. Left leg five forward and back. Once you've done that one, forward and back like you're kicking a kicking a footy or a soccer ball. Then we're going to face the pole or the wall and you're going to go across your body for five. Across your body for five. Jeez, that hoop's not too stable. Across your body for five. Oh, there we go. Make hey, sure you get nice and loose. All right. Once we've done that, we are just about ready to go. So grab your basketballs. First exercise. I don't know if anyone's looked at the uh, session plan. Probably not. Parents might have, kids might not have. First exercise is called a dribble, a dribble balance drill. All right. You only need a bit of space and a basketball. We're actually going to, uh, hang on a second. Oh, no, we're all good. All right. So really this is just to get us warmed up. We're going to work on a little bit of coordination. We're going to build into this a little bit. So again, jump in at any stage or send me a message directly if you're having any issues. Um, but I'm going to assume that most of you now have done some basic ball handling, you know, fingertips, dog's paw type of stuff. Okay. So we're going to go straight to a, what I would call a control dribble. We're going to start on our right leg. So we're just going to be on our right leg with our left foot up off the ground. So we're working on our balance. All right, got a bit of a soft knee. Okay, so my knee's bent. I'm not just locking my knee out. And we're just going to do a control dribble on our right hand. So again, right hand dribble. Our right leg is bent. Okay, so from the side, it looks like this. And I've got my left leg up in front of me. And I'm trying to keep my balance. Okay, if you're having trouble keeping your balance, try and focus on one spot on the ground. Try and focus on one spot on the ground. Okay, not looking around all over the place if you're having trouble with balance. Once you've done about 20 dribbles on your right hand, let's swap across. And we're going to go left hand dribble, but with our right leg still. So our left leg's still up, but we're going left hand dribble now. You can see where I'm going with this. Stop me if I'm going too fast. Chuck me a message if I'm going too fast. All right, so we're on our right foot still, balancing on our right foot, dribbling with our left. You can see where we're going, okay? Now we're gonna swap back to our right hand, but we're gonna stand on our left leg. So our legs should be starting to get a little bit fatigued now. As we're standing on that left leg or right leg with a slight bend, it's almost like a squat, okay? But we're strengthening the muscles of that leg. We're almost in like a quarter squat position. I got my right leg up here. You can see if I move back and I'm dribbling with my right hand now with my left foot on the ground, right leg up. All right, oh, about 20 dribbles. And now I'm coming across to my left hand. So now I'm left leg down, left hand dribble. Keep going, guys. I'm going to come and have a quick keep look. Keep going, keeping an eye keep on going. You. So our legs should be starting to feel it a little bit. Good. Bend Try your knees if you're that not really. Ball, nice it. Hard. That's good. Good. So once you've done 20, standing on your one left leg. I want you to pick up your basketball and hold it. Now we're going to challenge ourselves a little bit more. Because I can see a few of you are thinking, ah, oh, this isn't that challenging. That's okay. We're going to slowly build up. So we should have our legs nice and warm now. Now what we're going to do is paying attention because this part's really difficult. This is one of my favorite movements to do in, in physical anything, exercise, strength and conditioning, whatever you want to call it. It's called an arabesque. Okay, so we're now building... We've done like a squat where we've held this one-legged bent like this, dribbling. Now we're actually going to bring our chest forward and kick our other leg back. So we're actually going to come forward and balance so that our back is parallel with the ground. And see how my dribbling goes from low and fast to high and slow. And we're going to come back down. Little dribbles, whoop, and there goes my balance, okay? So this is pretty challenging. 
So the move is called like an arabesque. Try not to touch. So we're going right leg first. Right leg first. We probably won't have time to dribble both hands here. So I don't mind if you want to dribble left hand or right hand. I'm going to dribble right hand. I'm on my right leg. So I'm kicking my left leg back. I'm dribbling. I should feel a bit of a stretch in my hammy. I'm coming back up and I'm going down again. Let's go for five of these arabesques on each leg. Good job. So again, there we're, we working, go. we're working ball control because we're able to dribble low and high, not too high, but we're also working on the strength of our leg muscles, which we're going to need when we come back to the stadium. And there we go. There's my fifth. Okay, swapping legs. So now I'm on my left leg. I'm going to dribble with my left hand. You guys can do either. You can dribble with your right hand if you want still. So I'm on my left leg, kicking back. Whoop. Coming back up. Keeping, trying to keep my back. When I come down, I bring my chest over the ball. I want to keep my back flat. And back up. There's two. Here we go. On my other hand. Down or out for balance. Good job, guys. Good job. Keep going. Last one. There we go. Good work. All right. We've got one more variation of this now. Good. Oh, okay. That should have been a bit tougher. How did we go with that one? All good? Yep. All right. Last one. Last one before we swap it over here. Okay. So now we're going to push off. So we're dribbling, we're balancing. We're going to go back to our right leg. Okay, we're going to take five dribbles on our right leg with our left leg up here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Push off to our left. But you've got to land that on your left with one leg. Okay, so what it'll look like again. One, two, three, four, five. A crossover dribble and a push off. One, two, three, four, five. Crossover dribble, push off. One. Three, four, five, crossover, push off, one, one, two, lost the ball, okay? There's the challenge. So you've got, you've got two jumps on either leg. So you're going to dribble five times on your right leg, one, two, three, four, five, push off, dribble five times left, push off, dribble five times right, push off, dribble five times left. See if you can do that without losing balance. So the key is to stay low. Try not to stand up straight. Stay low. So one, two, four, five. Push off. Land Good nice job. and soft. Three, four, five. Push off. One, try two. Try and catch four. that landing. Try and land. Balance. Stay low. Excellent. Good, Good job. job. How are we going there? There we That's go. That's not Rosie. Who's that? That's not Rosie. That's... Oscar, good. Cormac, Anton, Ocean, good job. So then you got to jump across. So you're going to land without putting the other leg down, jump across after five dribbles. Good job. Where are the Armstrong kids? Everyone's disappeared. The Armstrong, we've got the three different hot hoop heights and they might have gone for a drink already. Kobe, good job. Kaylee, excellent. Good balance. Excellent. That push off is hard. It's not as easy as it looks. Work. Good job, good there job, Eli. Go. Good, Kobe. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Once you've done that, you've got forward and you've gone across twice on each leg. We're going to grab a quick drink. Grab a quick drink and hurry back. Grab your, your drink should be near the camera so we don't have to waste too much time on that. We've got one more drill. One more drill before we're going to go into a, uh, our trivia. We've reintroduced the trivia, Lockie. So oh, I like get it. Get Got amongst it, mate. Questions. Get excited. Oh, oh, Kobe and Harrison are doing it together. That's all right. Terrific. Love it. Excellent. That's good. That's good if you've got neighbours or you've got brothers and sisters. That's what we like to see. So what we're going to do now, again, we've got varying degrees of experience and development in this session, which is terrific. That's what we want. That's the idea is we've got different, different people uh, from different, uh, different teams and different clubs even in some spaces, which is terrific. But we're going to be working on footwork 
Um, specifically shooting and footwork into shooting. Okay, that's really important. So shooting is something we're going to put a lot more of an emphasis on at Frankston. Okay, not just in our blues, but, but with our uh, development programs as well. We, we've got to get better at shooting, but it's hard to get better at shooting if you don't know how to catch the ball and prepare for your shot. So much of shooting is, is being prepared to shoot, all right? So that means when you catch the ball, you're already ready to shoot it. You don't have to worry too much. You don't have to think about it. You just shoot. So what we're going to go into now is it's going to be boring for a little bit, okay? And then if you've got a hoop, it can move into some actual shooting, okay? But that's that's up to you. I'll show you how you can build the shooting into, uh, into this next drill, all right? So I'm going to put the camera down. You will need a couple of cones, okay? So you'll need a couple of your markers. If you don't have cones, grab a couple of shoes or a couple of sticks or whatever you want to use. I'm going to place a cone here right in front of me. All right, I'm going to put a cone about... Uh, probably a bit further, maybe three or four metres in front of me. You guys probably can't quite see that, but if I adjust my camera slightly, you can see that I've got two cones spaced out there. Okay, one's not far from underneath my hoop. If you've got a hoop, you're welcome to uh, to put to start right underneath your hoop. Okay, so this is, this is a version of like a turnout. Okay, so the other skill we have to work on here, and it's not a skill we really use in basketball, but I find so often when we do these drills, it's not natural to everyone, is we need to be able to spin the ball out to ourselves. okay? So I want two hands on the ball and you're just basically gonna tuck the ball under and spin it so that it spins and comes back to you. See how the ball goes from out of the camera to back to me there? So it's like I'm receiving a pass, okay? So it's just a handy little trick to have when you're working out on your own. If you don't have a brother or a coach to pass you the ball, you can still work on receiving the ball, all right? That's that's just a little skill. Again, if you can't do that, don't worry if you can't spin it out to yourself like that, where it actually comes back. You can just throw it out and jump to meet the ball, all right? So what we're working on here is when we catch the ball, we need to be able to catch, ready to shoot the ball without traveling. So the first one we're gonna do, again, I'm a right-hander, all right? So when I, when I catch the ball, I generally plant my left foot. So if I spin the ball, I'm gonna start from my cone, which is under my hoop here. I generally will spin the ball out, plant my left foot. Okay, so you can see my left foot is down there. Okay, so I generally plant my left foot and pivot around to square up with my right foot. All right, so what that looks like if I go back the other way, so you're gonna be able to see my feet in one and not in the other, all right? So if I spin it towards the hoop now, Okay, you'll be able to see here, I spin it, I plant my left foot and I pivot and bring that right foot around, okay? So we're just gonna work on that a couple of times. I know that's fairly complex. For some of you that haven't played a lot of basketball, this might be completely new to you. So don't, don't stress if, you, if this is totally foreign to you. I just want you to do, if you know what you're doing, I just want you to focus on doing five turnouts here. So we're gonna spin it, plant left, Pivot around, plant right, and go again. I want you to do five. Plant left, pivot around, plant right. I just want you to do five of those on your left foot and then five on your right. Here we go. I'm gonna try and watch you guys a little bit, see how you're going here. It's a difficult one to do via Zoom. All right, I know it's a tough one, but you wanna plant left foot and pivot around on your right without traveling. Okay, you want to pivot around without traveling. And when I say pivot, what I mean by that is essentially spinning around. So left and then spin on the ball of that left foot before planting your right foot. So we're going to do five on our left and then five planting our right. If you've got a hoop, if you've got a hoop like you can see here, I've got one in the background. If you want to pivot, if you want to spin, turn it out, plant your pivot foot, spin right foot into a shot, you can. If you want to do that, if that's the level that you're at, and you're confident of doing that without traveling, and you've done this sort of drill before, please be my guest to spin the ball out. Excellent, guys. Good work. If you've got any questions, don't be afraid to just jump in the chat. Or, uh, or, or, or shoot them through. If you want to turn your mic on, Lockie and I will try and answer because it is, it is a bit complex. So you're spinning it out. All right, we've got a 
We've got to make sure we get that footwork right. Really make sure we get that footwork right. So plant that foot and spin all the way around. If you need to, go nice and slow. You don't have to do it nice quick to slow. start off with. Just do it nice and slow Good, so you get the hang of it. Good, Kaylee. That's perfect. That's awesome. Nice little, go. small Good. little throws. That's perfect. Well done, Kaylee. That's the perfect example. You don't have to go too far out. Just a little throw. Plant that foot. Spin. Good. But try and stay low now is the next step. Good job, Molly. Spin and face. Yep. Turn and face. Square up to the basket. Excellent. Good job. All right. It's not, it's not easy. This is a drill that we still do this drill. We come in in the mornings and we still do turnouts of some description. We still work on this footwork because you can never get too good at your footwork into your shooting, okay? All right, so we're gonna build on this a little bit without going too far into detail. We are gonna build on this a little bit. So the next one, this actually might be a little bit easier for some of you. It actually makes a little bit more sense, but it's harder to do. I think it's harder to do in a game, um, but it might work for you just in terms of learning the footwork of, of when you have to, when you're catching the ball or when you're receiving a pass in the game. We call it a, it used to be called a jump stop. Okay. But it's now customary to call it a two foot stop. So what that means again, and we're spinning the ball out still. Okay. But when we catch it, we're actually going to jump and spin 180 in the air. Okay. So it's a little bit harder, but if you think about, even if you just wanted to start on the spot and you just throw the ball out and catch and spin 180. The key here is the timing. And that's why I think it's a little harder than the pivot because with the pivot, you can catch the ball as you put your foot down. So you can catch it, foot down and turn 180. Whereas the key with the, the, the two foot stop is you actually have to almost jump and catch at the same time. Okay, so if I do this, I catch the ball and then I jump 180, that's a travel, okay? And I know Will Murray's in here. I know Chris Murray's probably listening in. Okay. And he'll, he'll definitely tell me that's a travel. So I've got to catch it. I've got to almost jump and catch at the same time. So the timing can be difficult with this one, but we're going to do the same thing. So I want you to go left. So you're going to jump 180, turn left five times, jump 180, turn right five times. So we're here, turn, there's one, spin it out. We're going turn left, catch and land still, I want, to, I want to be landing nice and low. So same as when we were doing our pivoting, we, want, we don't want to be straight up and down, okay? So we're spinning out, catching low, triple threat, like I'm sitting on a chair, okay? Spin it out, boom, catch nice and low and triple threat, like I'm sitting on a chair. Right, so I don't want to see any statues. I don't want to see any standing up straight like this when we catch. That's no good, because now I've got to come all the way down and go back up into my shot. If you have a hoop, feel free to do this two foot stop and turn out into your shot if you'd like to. If you'd like to go into a shot, if you've got a hoop nearby, you can. More than welcome to. The more shots, the better. If you don't have a hoop, it's not a requirement. That's perfect. Well done, Asha. That's a perfect two foot stop. Spinning the ball out, catching in the air, two feet. Well done. Kobe and Harrison, they're out on the street there. Good job. Watch out oh, for cars. Go. Good. Good spin. You've got the hoop there. Awesome. Hold on, guys. How are you going, Isabel? You've done your, done your two foot stops. Good work. All right. We, we, once we've done five either way, I know that's fairly technical, guys, but I want you guys to start thinking about that. That's the level of, of footwork we need to be starting to think about shooting. And you might travel. You, you, you very well might travel. That's okay. If you do travel, don't stress too much because you, you're practicing here and that's the point is, is that you're going to be learning as you go along, okay? All right. Everyone grab a drink. We're going to move on really quickly. We're going to do our trivia. Trivia time, Lockie. Trivia time. What have you got for us, Moss? No, I've, got a, I've got a few tricks here. Don't worry about that, mate. All right. Where are we? Trivia. Grab your drinks. Ben Perry, what's going on? Grab your drinks and get ready. Can everyone see that screen? Sunday trivia intermediate session. Yes. Everyone can see that? Terrific. Yeah, see that. All right. 
So we've got a couple of quick rules. If you're on an iPad or an iPhone, you should see, if you come to your screen and you press the screen, you should see three, drop, three dots up in the top right corner. If you press those three dots, you'll see some emojis down the bottom. You can either raise your hand, thumbs up, clap, laughing, crying emoji, love heart. I'm going to give you guys a love heart. There you go. There's a love heart from me. That comes up on my screen. Lockie and I are going to watch for the quickest response. Jimmy's given us an open mouth. He couldn't believe it. Now he's celebrating. Good job, Jimmy. All right. That's, we're going to wait for a response. I don't care what response it is, but that's how you uh, put your hand up to basically answer the question. So Lockie and I are going to be watching closely to see who gets the first response, okay, for these questions. So no one, no one should be just turning their mics on and yelling out the answers. All right. Are we ready? All right. There's the rules. I should have probably brought that up on the screen before I chatted away. So there's the rules. So first person to give us a thumbs up or any emoji, okay? Once Lockie or myself calls out your name, turn your microphone on, unmute your microphone, give us the answer. All right, we're going to move pretty quickly because we've got a lot of drills I still want to get through. Ready? First question. Get excited. Who is this season's NBA Rookie of the Year? That's him there, pictured playing for the Illawarra Horse. Oh, oh. Yeah, Oscar. Oscar, microphone on Oscar and his brother by the looks of it. Oh, oh you're unmuted. Then you weren't. Now you're muted again. Unmute yourself again, mate. Oh, I can't hear. I oh, know. Disaster. I guess I can't hear, Oscar. Quick panic. Oh, you're all right, mate. Type it in if you want. I reckon you've got it. Surely kids your age know who this is. Where are we? You're typing it in, Oscar. Lamello ball, correct. Well done, yeah. Oscar. Bang. Good job, Oscar. Lamello ball. Well done. Question two. Name the leading scorer for the Australian Boomers at the Tokyo Olympics. Ooh, who got that one first? Armstrong. Uh, Armstrong, I guess. Armstrong. She's bloody, She's selling it with the arms waving. Who we got? Yep. Pat right. Armstrong. Patty Mills. Paddy Mills is correct. correct. Yes, that is correct. Well done. All right. Next question. Which NBL team won the 2020-2021 NBL championship? Daniel, if you can't raise your hand, mate, just raise your hand on the camera. We'll try and see it. Which NBL team won the 2020-2021 NBL championship? And for a bonus, name a Frankston Blues player that played on the team in the championship. Who'd we get, Lockie? Did you see anyone? Uh yeah, well, there's the hands uh, oh, risen, I, reckon, but I don't know if they're already there from the last I reckon one. it was William. I reckon it was William. Go on, Will. Melbourne United. Yeah, that's correct. Well done, Chris slash Will. Awesome. And name a Frankston Blues player. <laughs> Will. <laughs> name a Frankston Blues player that played on the team. There was two. Well, technically there was two. One didn't play in the game, but one did. David Anderson. Correct. David Anderson, big DA. That is correct. Currently playing for Franks and Blues in the NBL one. Dylan Stith was the other player that was on the roster with Melbourne United this year. Okay. Well done. Good job, Will slash Chris. Well done. All right. Here we go. Next question. Question four. Which of these teams is not a team in the WNBA? WNBA. We should all be watching. The season's just about to start or just started. They just had their preseason cup. One of these teams is not a team. The two players pictured play for two teams that are listed there. So it should be a bit of a, a giveaway. Who do we have? Did that Marley? Is that your hand up, Marley? Do you know? Yeah, uh, I'll say Marley. Um, oh, she's muted, unmuted. What do you reckon? Two. Number two, that's correct. Oklahoma City Thunder is an NBA team. Not a WNBA team. Another little fun fact, Josh Giddy just got drafted to the Oklahoma City Thunder. So that's pretty cool. Just a bit of factoid there for you, Lucky, for your Sunday Arvo. Yeah. Enjoy that. Full of, the, full of the facts. I am. Last question. Here's a trick one. Spell Ezzy's last name. If you were in the mini hoops, Aussie hoops session before this, I asked what was Ezzy's last name. Now you've got to spell Ezzy's last name. Sorry about we've lost the uh, you've lost the picture there. I apologise. That's my, my computer's going flat. What's that? Sorry. Who had that answer? Who's got the answer? It starts with M. You can pronounce it. And if you can spell it out, you might be able to spell it out. Does anyone want to have a... 
Oh, who's that? Who's having a crack uh, at it? Armstrong's. M A B E M A G B E G O R. That's correct. That is correct. M A G. Marley, Marley was very close. Very close. It's M A G. B M A G Mag B Gore. Yeah. M A G. You've just missed a B and a G there. You, you Marley, bad luck. So it's M A G B E G O R. Well done, guys. Excellent. All right. Terrific. We're going to move on to our, our, la, our, our second to last game, depending on how we're going for time here. We're going okay. We've got about 10 minutes. So you should be well rested. Grab your basketballs again. Okay, you're gonna need your uh, you're gonna need your cones. One second here while I grab uh, delightful. I've got to get my cone sorted. So bear with me for a second. Just grab a uh, grab a quick quick drink if you need it after our trivia. <clears throat> we'll get into our last drill before the. Uh, hopefully, we have time for the Olympics slash Paralympics, Lockie, today. Oh yeah. <laughs> A bit of fun. That'll be, will be a bit of fun. All right. Okie dokie. So we need a couple of cones. So we're going to do some something that you guys probably aren't all that excited about, but we need to change. We need to change our mindsets a little bit. We're going to grab a couple of cones. We're going to talk about defensive stance and defensive slides. I know it's not exciting. I know it's uh, it's not glamorous, but it is a part of the game that wins us. Well, you could argue won us a bronze medal at the Olympics. It wins championships. Okay, if you are a good defender, two things in the game of basketball. If you're a good defender and you're a good shooter, uh, you will generally find your way onto most basketball teams. You'll you'll find a spot to play somewhere, okay? If you are a good defender, if you can defend your position, okay? So if you're a guard, you need to be able to move your feet pretty quickly and stay in front of other guards. Um, if you're a big, you need to be able to do a bit of everything, but you need to be, obviously, you need to be pretty tall, unfortunately, but I'm not tall, I'm a guard. Um, so I've got to be able to stay in front of other guards, um, which I have a hard time with because I'm not that athletic and I'm getting older by the second, so... I have trouble standing in front of the likes of Lockie. All right. But you've got to be, you, you can, it doesn't matter too much about athleticism. You've got to have good footwork. So we're going to get a couple of cones out. All right. I want you to put them about, probably about three, three good, three or four good slides apart. All right. Firstly, we're just going to start with our defensive stance. Okay. So defensive stance, obviously, that's the basis. If we're not in a good defensive stance, we're not going to be a good defender. All right, so you can be the quickest person in the world standing upright. People are still going to blow past you and get to the hoop. All right, so defensive stance, I want you to imagine like you're sitting on a chair. All right, that's the first thing. There's no chair there, but you're just sitting your bum back and sitting on a chair. Back is nice and straight, okay? Knees are bent, but we're not falling backwards. All right, and our weight is evenly distributed, okay, over our feet, and we've got a nice wide stance, okay? So we're not too wide. Okay, we're not doing the splits and we're not too narrow just yet, all right? So that's our defensive stance in terms of our lower body, okay? And our arms need to be nice and wide. Some might go high, low. Okay, we're just going to go arms wide, as wide as we can. That's our defensive stance there. So from the side, here's what it looks like sitting on our imaginary chair. Okay, arms nice and wide, ready to deflect passes or move as we need to, all right? Come out of that stance, okay, because it's wearing my legs out. Now, to defensive slide, this is where the footwork is really important. We're just going to go through the basics today. We're not going to do drop step. We're not going to do anything too, too crafty just yet. But we will have a bit of a competition. We will get our heart rate up a little bit. So I'm going to start all the way over to the left of my uh, cones that I've set up here. All right, I'm going to come down into a defensive stance, okay? And the way we, or the way I was taught to defensive slide, it's changed a little bit now, was to go from a big gap, okay? So I've got a gap in my feet right here. There's a big gap. I go from a big gap to a bigger gap. Big gap to a bigger gap. Okay, so we don't really ever want a small gap or no gap as we lose balance. So we've got a big gap right now. I push my right leg out and I go bigger. Big, 
to bigger, big to bigger, okay? And then we push back off to our left, big to bigger, but our feet don't come together, all right? That's the way I was taught, and it's the way I'm going to teach it today. But we've actually found, just to confuse you all a little bit, well, do you want it like that? We've or actually like found, in terms of sports whatever, science, whatever he's doing. To, sorry, someone's unmuted there. Can I just get you to? Who is that one? I'm going to mute you guys. Who is it? Uh, all good. They're over, all over it. So we've actually found. We're going to practice today. We're going to practice going from big to bigger. So just sliding across, feet not really leaving the ground. Okay, except for our lead foot. So if I'm pushing from my right to left, I'm going big to bigger. Arms are staying nice and wide. But if you're going really quick, you might be able to cross your feet over, okay? If you're a really experienced defender, it might be, might be a bit quicker for you. And sometimes we have to turn to sprint, okay, to get in front of people. Essentially now, if you're at a high level, you're playing a representative level, you will work on this type of sliding in a non-competitive system, okay? But when you go into one-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three, and you're playing a game, we all know that you're going to have to, at some point, you might have to come out of a defensive stance and actually just cross your legs over a little bit to push off and be able to get in front of the other person. We're not going to go into that today. What we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of rotations back and forth. So I want you to start at the left cone. We're going to do a defensive slide. Everyone get ready. We're going to go forward. We're going to, sorry, we're going to go right, left. That's one. We're going to go across and back five times, okay? Here we go. And off we go. So we're going to go across, get our foot outside that cone and back. Push off. There we go. Good. And come back. That's two. Push off. Come back. That's three. Two more. Push off. Come back. That's four. And last one. Push off and come back. That's five. Excellent. Stand up. Shake your legs out. That's our defensive slide and defensive stance. Really basic. I don't want to go too much deeper into that today because we'll run out of time. What we're going to do now is for 30 seconds, we're just going to have a bit of a challenge. Lockie, you look pretty stationary where you are, mate. Is that correct? You're not moving around I too am, much? I am pretty stationary. You might have to take over the calling, okay? So right. what we've got, I'll set us up. I've got a cone on my left here that everyone can see. That cone is number one. I've got a cone on my right here. That is cone number two. Can everyone get a similar setup? You don't have to have cones. You can just have shoes or sticks or rocks, whatever you want. So I've got left is number one. Right is number two. I'm going to stretch them out a little bit because I'm going to start in the middle. So I'm going to kick them out a little bit further than what they were. So we've probably got a gap of about four meters between the cones now. You can still see them, I think, in the camera. Probably got a gap of about four meters. Once we've got that, I want everyone to come to the middle. Lockie, for the next 30 seconds, is going to call out numbers, one or two. We have to respond listening to Lockie's call. So we're going to start down in a stance. All right. When Lockie says go, we're all going to get down in a defensive stance. If Lockie calls out one, boom, I want you to touch the cone with your hand. Okay. I know you might have to come out of defensive stance and get a bit lower to do that. That's okay. And you're going to come back to the middle. When you get back to the middle, you're going to pitter-patter. And then he might call out two. I'm going to push off. Touch number two. That's a bit too close. Come back. Pitter-patter. All right. Does everyone understand? Chuck your mic on if you've got any questions. This is a little challenge to get our heart rate up, get our bodies moving a little bit, work on change of direction and responding to Lockie's voice. Okay? Perfect. Everyone all good? Hang on. We've got a question. Jimmy, you all good? Give us a thumbs up if you're right, Jimmy. Yep, all good. All right, here we go. On your say-so, Lockie, we've got to get into defensive stance. When you're ready, mate. All right, stance. Boom. Here we go. One. One. That's pitter-patter. One. Good. Oh, one again. Oh, pitter-patter. Two. Oh, pitter-patter. One. Oh. Oh. Two. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. We've got about 15 seconds. Two. Two. Ooh. One. Two. Good job. We've got about three more. Here we go. Keep Two. working. Ooh. Stay low. One. Stay low. Ooh. 
Two. Oh, good job. Two. Oh, oh two again. We're going again. Oh, when are we done? And with? there we go. Shake it off. Good job. Woo. Good work. Well done, guys. Shake it out. Shake the legs out. Oh, tell you what. Good job. All right. That's enough of defense for now. Oh, we're right on 4.45. So if anyone has to go, that's okay. But we've got one more game to go. Now, I did this with the younger group. And I reckon the record was seven feet. So we're going to do a long jump. Grab a cone. Grab two cones, all right? Two cones if you've got your brother. Or if you're the Hannigans, you've got three of you there. You might have to take it in turns. Or you'll each need a couple of cones or markers, all right? What we're doing here is, you should be able to see me just out, of, just on the screen here. I'm gonna put a cone down at my feet. All right, we're doing a long jump. Now there's no run up. This is just pure explosive power, okay? So we're gonna get, we're gonna get up nice and high with our arms. We're gonna swing our arms through, bend our knees and hips and explode out horizontally as far as we can. Really important skill to be able to explode off the mark in basketball. You don't have to be the quickest person over 100 meters, 50 meters even, but if you are explosive, that first step, and you're able to land, change directions, they're really, really desirable skills. Really, really strong skills we need to work on. So everyone's gonna have one attempt. You've got one cone where you're starting your jump from, one cone or stick or whatever you've got in your hand, up nice and high, Swing through, oh, slow down. Wow, I nearly jumped off the camera. And then put your cone down at your heels. All right, then I want you to walk back and you're gonna measure how, how many feet you jumped. So you're just gonna use your foot as a measurement. So it should be scaled. So our little, our little members of the session today, don't, they're not disadvantaged. We're gonna go foot to foot. So there's two, three, four, five, six. Okay, can anyone beat six feet for the long jump? You can put your microphone on or you can just call out. Marley, Marley, six. Marley with six, Ty. Excellent. Eight. Oh, big wheel. Marley. Seven. That's a big leap. Seven, oh, well man. done. Molly got eight. Oh, Will got six. Well done, Will. Daniel, nine. Excellent. We got five from Carly. Daniel got nine. Daniel got nine. Wow, we. Good job, Daniel. Nine, that is a good leap. All right, we had a couple more exercises we were gonna do with our Olympics and Paralympics. Isabel, eight, well done. You guys can keep trying that one. Keep trying that one, that's a good one to do. If we have to run this session again next Sunday or maybe during the week, we've got some other games we can do as well. I know I said you guys needed toilet paper and stuff like that. We're gonna do a high jump, but we didn't get time today. Molly's got her cat. We're not gonna do the cat toss. We scrapped that one from the event. We, we, scrapped, we scrapped the cat throw from the event because we felt it was too dangerous, okay? So we won't have that today, Molly. <laughs> uh, Will, he's gone for seven now. Good seven job, guys. Seven. So keep, keep having a crack at that. Have a look at the session plan. If you haven't seen it already, if you haven't seen it already, have a look at it because um, there's some really good drills in there. Most of the links, I think, are interactive. So if you're not sure of what drill is what, what you can click the link and get some ideas of some stuff to do between. Oh, right, we've got a dog now too, Molly. Have a look at it. Is that a little uh, dashing? Little sausage dog. Oh, they're cute. Um, all right, so guys, that's it from us today. Thank you, Lockie, for jumping on um, and helping out with some coaching. Uh, obviously, guys, we, we'd much prefer to be in the stadium, but it's good to stay connected and, and get on and have a chat today. And, um, you know, it's good to see all your faces. And, and I hope that, um, you know, you're staying positive. Make sure you stay outside days like today. If you've got a hoop at home, you know, get out, get some shots up. If you need some drills or anything like that, or you've got, you know, you, you've run out of stuff to do in terms of working on your game, just shoot, just get your mum or dad to shoot me an email. We've got heaps of stuff we can send through. Um, otherwise, we'll, we'll, we'll maybe do another session. Uh, we may do another session Wednesday. We're not sure yet. We may offer another session for beginners and intermediates, but after school is a bit difficult sometimes. 
Um, so if 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 we do get extended, if our lockdown does get extended, we'll do we'll do next Sunday again as well. So hopefully we're not in that situation. Hopefully we're seeing you in person um, from Friday mm. onwards. But worst case scenario, we'll run this run a similar session again next Sunday with some new drills. So thanks everyone for jumping on. Uh, mm. Thanks to Lockie for jumping on. Have a good week at school. Be good to your parents. Make sure you do your chores and do your homework and stuff. stuff. Stay healthy, guys, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, Jared. Good job, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you, everyone.